Hey friends, it's Nurse Lizzie here. Today's video, I have a fun one for you. We're gonna be talking about what do I pack in my nursing bag? This is the video for you if you are just going out to clinicals, you're starting your nursing school journey, you're not really sure what to take with you, or maybe you're a new grad, you've just accepted a job, you're getting ready to go out into the unit, and again, you're just not sure what to really take with you. Before we go ahead and get started, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you never miss one of my uploads. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content that you see. Of course, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to check out my website, nurselizzy.com, for more uploads, educational tidbits, and life hacks. So I have my nurse bag in front of me. It is not neatly organized. I just grabbed my items quick so I could come up and show you guys. Normally I would have things neat and tidy in here because for those of you that don't know me, I'm incredibly type A. I am a perfectionist and I like everything in its place. But for the sake of doing this video, I just went ahead and grabbed some of my items. So this is my nursing bag. This It's just an older um, zipper pouch from Vera Bradley. I've had it for quite a few years now. It comes to clinical with me currently when I'm out on the unit with students. And this came with me all the time um, in the hospital setting when I was still working per diem on the floor. Easiest thing, that's not in my bag because honestly it just doesn't fit. But easiest thing is my stethoscope here. I have two different stethoscopes that I use. One is the Lippmann um, cardiology stethoscope, which was is super near and dear to me. My husband bought me that when I graduated nursing school. It's engraved with my initials. I don't always use it every day, uh, but this is just my classic Lippmann stethoscope. So not sure how great you can see on here. I do have my name, uh, name, uh, name badge on there. It just says Elizabeth RN because if you have not noticed, everybody carries a Litman at the hospital. And if you don't have your name on it, somebody will walk off with your Litman. Not intentionally per se, but we all have um, very similar Litman stethoscopes. So just kind of be aware of that. I would definitely recommend um, it's always a really nice thing to ask friends and family for too, as a gift idea or like a, a stocking stuffer. So I always have my stethoscope with me. Um, if you forget your stethoscope, of course, there are usually extra ones on the unit that people can, you know, use, come and go, or you can always use a disposable. But again, I'm a creature of habit. I like my own stethoscope. Um, I know that I can hear well and I just, I feel comfortable when I have my own items with me. First things first, this little notebook has been with me. It's, it's worn. I mean, you can see it's pretty old at this point. This little notebook has been with me since the first year that I became a, a brand new nurse in PICU. So I've had this notebook since 2012 and I carry it with me still as a reference guide. What I have in here are, you know, formulas, calculations that we use for like IV fluids in kids, um, important medication tidbits. It's really kind of like my little encyclopedia. I know that we all have Google, it's at the tip of our fingers, but this it was really, really handy to me and I actually had it divided so it's um, you can see there's different fluorescent colors. I have like medication categories in the green, um, maybe lab work in the, in the yellow, so on and so forth. This was always just super helpful to me. And while I don't reference it all the time anymore per se, every now and again, a student may ask me a question that I can kind of show them um, where I have some reference points and I just find it still really helpful. Whether you're a new grad getting ready to start on the floor or you are um, just starting nursing school, purchase one of these tiny little steno notebooks. I have many of these. Um, I don't carry them with me all the time anymore. I really have like refined all my points to this little handy dandy fluorescent um, notepad. But what I would do that with this, when I was a student, I would always have it in my pocket. If I heard a medication I didn't know, I would jot it down. If I heard lingo, medical jargon, testing, anything I wasn't sure about, I would write it down. Because what I would then do is I would go back when I got home from my, from my day, or maybe when I was com completing clinical paperwork or when I had time to talk with my nursing faculty member, I could ask questions or I could find the answer to my question on my own. And it really helped me to build a large knowledge repertoire um, and also just having like something quick to reference. Um, what I started doing with this, which I found really helpful as a student, when nurses were giving report, I would actually jot things down in this notebook. So again, I could go back and reference or clarify when I was just one-on-one -on -one with the nurse and not interrupting um, a shift. So I do still carry it in my nursing bag, but I really have refined all my notes to this little handy dandy guy you see here. Calculator. I know it sounds silly. We all have access to computers. We have access to our cell phones. They all have calculators on them. I am old school. I like to touch and feel and push buttons. I mean, it's on the back of my um, 
calculator there. I still carry this with me because if I need to do a quick reference, triple check something, I, I whip out this little bad boy. Um, next, of course, would be my name badge in real. On this one, you know, I have like my basic name badge for the hospital. I also have like my security tag. And then I have like nice little cheat sheets with tidbits related to floor codes and emergency response, that kind of thing. Being that I'm not at the hospital all, that all the time on a, you know, Monday through Friday basis, I like to have that reference. And then of course, a super cute little nurse swag, um, little badge reel here. I love this one. This is from Etsy. I've had it for a long time, but I am obsessed with monograms. I really, I love this nursing name badge. If you are going to clinical, make sure you always have your name badge. It is part of your uniform. It is part of your school requirements. And ultimately it's just really important because you're not a hospital employee. You are a, a student at a school or an institution and patients and their family members need to be able to identify who you are. Um, and it just helps you to look professional and act just as if you were the registered nurse taking care of the patient. Post-its. I never leave home without my post-its because I mean, as if I don't have enough tablets here with me, but sometimes, um, again, I might just want to write something to myself. Like I need to go back and check something in 30 minutes and I can just rip off a post-it, put it at my keyboard station where I'm working. I'm just, again, old school. I like to check things off. I like to scratch things out when I've done them. So I love a post-it note just as much as anybody. Next thing, I do not share pens. I, uh, if you know me, bring your own pen. So I always carry a highlighter. I find them super important to highlight, especially when you're getting shift to shift report um, to really just kind of point out anything that was out of the ordinary or things that are like follow up action items. I am obsessed with my Papermate flare tip pens, especially when I'm writing report. I like, I like to be able to write um, different colored markers on my different patients. I always have a pencil because why not? <laughs> and then my favorite pens are just the um, Papermate profile. They have the nice thick even ink. I carry different colors like the red and um, the pink or blue, whatever, because I often will highlight like lab abnormalities in a different color or something that was off with the patient. Again, it's just kind of part of the way my brain processes information to ensure I'm not missing things in report. The hospital is a dirty place. There are germs everywhere. I do not share my pens with people. So always come prepared, like bring your own pen. Um, don't be that person that you're always like, can I have a pen? Can I borrow a pencil? Don't scrounge, go buy your own goods. So come prepared, good pens. Um, next thing, I never leave home without my extra hair ties. Undoubtedly, somebody's hair tie always snaps or if I'm in the middle of doing something with a with a patient or helping a student and I, you know my hair's coming out or whatever, I can quickly pull it back. There's a million billion alcohol wipes on the unit, but I like to carry my own because at the end of my shift, I will alcohol wipe down my stethoscope, um, any pens I used, and I always wipe down like my nursing badge just because we are in and out of so many patients' rooms. Um, I always have these in my bag because I can just quickly like stick them in my pocket and then grab them when I'm going in and out of the room. Next thing, you're going to probably laugh at this one. The hospital is an incredibly dry environment and I am somebody, I suffer from sinus issues all the time and they're amplified in a hospital setting where it is um, just really, really dry. So I actually carry saline spray with me. Even going out to the hospital with students, I usually use this, um, Sometimes every hour, like especially in the winter months where we live, it's a lot colder. And then um, like every two to four hours, because I just find I'm really prone to headaches from that dryness in the environment. And this actually helps. Your nursing scissors, okay? Don't be the person that's always going around and asking everybody, do you have scissors? Can I borrow these? Buy your own pair of scissors. You can even like put a little name badge on it, something like that, that you can easily identify that they're yours. I bought these big purple obnoxious ones because I knew they were big and chunky. And if anybody took them, I knew they were mine when I'd see th when I would see them. So that's just me. Like I just wanted something nice and big. I don't carry them in my pocket. I know some people do. I have them in my nurse bag because these, I'm not a tall person. These are pretty big to put in my pocket. I am a contact lens wearer and a lot of my students wear contacts. And again, the hospital environment is really, really dry. So what I will do, I always carry these little like single use bullets of just, it's the refresh optive. Um, you can throw them away, re-wetting drops to help lubricate my eyes. And I, while I do wear contacts, my eyes still get really, really dry. So I always have these on hand to help moisten my eyes, especially on the clinical unit. And I always, always, always 
carry a pair of glasses that I can pop on in the clinical unit because there are times where the contacts are, it's just so dry, they're driving me crazy, or I may have gotten something in my eye. I don't always carry extra contacts with me. So for those days where things are just rough, I'm uncomfortable, I have to be able to see to drive home. So I actually do just keep a spare pair of cheapy Zenny glasses right in my nursing bag too. I never leave home without my gold bond um, hand cream. Now this is not something that I'm putting on religiously at the hospital because obviously we are washing our hands so much and you always wanna think of the context of germs and keeping yourself germ free. But I carry this with me because often when I'm there in the morning making assignments for my students, I will put this on first thing or when we're all done for the day, I will put this on before I go after I've washed my hands because I can't stand just that feeling of like cracked skin you know the feeling, the, the tightness. It's just, it drives me crazy. We're almost done, guys. Um, other things I carry in my bag, Pepto. Um, if you are a nursing student, you have probably had the feeling where you have butterflies in your stomach. You feel like you might be sick to your stomach. I'm gonna be really honest. My first year on the job working as a nurse in PICU, I literally started my day um, taking Pepto and drinking ginger ale because I felt sick to my stomach with nerves all the time driving into work. Um, just worrying about my patients and worrying about my shift. So I'm more comfortable if I have it, if somebody needs it. Ibuprofen or like Excedrin or Tylenol. I always have this with me because I'm prone to getting migraines and just the dryness and the fluorescent lighting in the hospital setting. Or I find like a lot of times a student might have a headache or a fellow nurse and we always need, you know, somebody's always looking for over-the-counter pain medication. I always carry a claw clip. Again, just a backup um, in case the hair ties don't work. I don't know. And then last thing that I have found to really, really help me with the, my um, sinuses feel really dry. I'm a huge fan of usually right in the morning when I get to the hospital, I will put on the doTERRA Breathe Rollerball. And I'll show you, there's the tip on it. It's just a rollerball application. I actually put it right on my nose, right under my nose, ever so slightly. I mean, this is scented, this has got peppermint, eucalyptus oil, citrus oil, you know, it has things that patients can be really sensitive to smells. So I'm very aware of that. And certainly if I'm taking care of a patient that's been vomiting all night and they're nauseated from chemo, this might be a step that I skip. But if I'm able to, I do try to put this on just to help with that dryness. So that is essentially what I keep inside of my nursing bag. Um, as I said, this goes everywhere with me. It was with me on the unit. Um, when I worked in PICU, I would carry my bag with me and just it would stay like my backpack bag and my nursing bag would stay right outside of patient rooms because obviously you're working in an environment where the acuity is very high. So I'm not leaving my patients constantly to go back to my locker or my bag. So it was really handy to have this and I've just kind of always kept this. So hopefully that gives you like a starting off or jumping point of what things you can pack in your nursing bag um, to help you feel, you know, secure or feel like you have everything to start your day. Maybe you're somebody who likes to wing it. I am so not that person. So I just thought I would share with you the things that work best for me. One thing I do want to note, and I always kind of chuckle when I see this, you'll never find makeup in this bag. When I go to the hospital, I put my makeup on in the morning, or maybe you're somebody who doesn't wear makeup, but I don't have time. I never had time to touch up my makeup and nobody cared. They care about you being a really wonderful nurse and being focused on them and taking care of them. So hopefully this helped you. Please leave your comments below. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.